Hello and welcome to highlights of stage one of the Tour de France fam, Avec Swift and the historic day for world cycling. The Women's Tour de France is finally here, 81.6 kilometres awaiting the riders, rolling out from the Eiffel Tower, linking up with the famous Champs-Élysées circuit for 12 laps. Two intermediate sprints for the green jersey, one cap for Queen of the Mountains, a point for that polka dot jersey with 19.3 kilometres to go. Eight stages in total this race, 1,033.6 kilometres. A little bit of something for everybody. We have four flat stages, two hilly stages and two mountain stages. But kilometre zero came on the famous finish line of the Champs-Élysées circuit where the men will finish three weeks of epic Tour de France racing today. The attacks came thick and fast, but one move that did get a significant gap was Emily Newsom of EF Education, Tibco Silicon Valley Bank, and Mishka Bredebold of Park Hotel of Falkenberg. But the green jersey sprint that would come with 46.8 kilometers to go was too tempting for the peloton, and it was the Yumbo Visma team of Mariana Voss that were leading it out. Anna Henderson doing a huge turn on the front for her team leader, locked in on her wheel though, was pre-race favorite for the stage, Lorena Vivas. Voss took maximum points with Vivas behind, while Lotta Capecchi and Alex Manley fought it out for the minor points. Paulina Lin of Arkea, the French rider, was the next one to try her hand off the front. She would get a decent gap and she would be joined by human powered health Henrietta Christie, another team that was super aggressive on the opening day. Unfortunately for both these riders, the next green jersey sprint with 26.4 to go. It was the team of SD Works that were looking to try and set things up for Lotta Capecchi. Kopecki would come through to take the sprint ahead of Alex Manley and Maria Giulia Confalonieri. And the riders would then turn their attention to the Queen of the Mountains. And Dorta Iseland and Femke Marcus were joined at the front by Marta Lack. Behind them, though, there was a huge turn on the front by Kristen Faulkner of Bike Exchange that almost brought it back together and would steal it. But Femke Marcus of Park Hotel Valkenburg punched the air with delight. She would pull on the iconic red and white polka dot jersey as the first leader of the Queen of the Mountains. As they were swept up, it was the French rider from Le Col Wahoo, Gladys Verholz, who was the next rider to go on the attack. The gutsy attack from Gladys Verholz. Her style belies her power and speed. Unfortunately, a crash in the peloton behind Alana Castric and Christine Majerus went down. Unfortunately for the Cofidis rider, she would have to abandon while Majerus would make it back into the peloton. The Hulst was holding a gap. She would go into the final lap and towards the final 3K, still holding 10 seconds. But the charging peloton were looking to try and set up the sprint. Movistar came through. It would be them that would end the day at the front for the French rider, catching her with 2.3 kilometers to go, looking to try and set Emma Norsgaard up for the stage. As they headed across the Place de la Concorde, it was European champion Ella Von Dijk that went through the Flamme Rouge and she led into the Champs Elysees, looking to try and set things up for world champion Elisa Balsamo. Yumbo Visma were poised and ready for Voss, as were DSM for Weebus. Raquel Barbieri also up there for Liv Extra. Henderson made a huge turn, and her team leader, Voss, who has won on the Champs Elysees and La Course, went for it. On the right, though, Lorena Weebus found a second turn of speed and came through to take the first stage and pull on the first Maillot Jean of the Tour de France fam, Abbott Swift. The pre-race favourite lives up to her billing. She was straight on the radio to tell the teammates that she had got the victory. A big moment for the Dutch rider. Confirmation of your top 10. Lorena Rivas takes it from Mariana Voss and Lotta Capecchi. Barbieri, Norsgaard, Vander Down, Balsamo, Boylard, Dronova and Guazzini, your top 10. Lorena Vivas joined on the podium by a surprise member. 
General classification looks like this as we head towards stage two. Weavis now leads Voss by four, Capecchi by six, Barbieri, Norsgaard, Vanderdown, Balsamo, Boiler, Dronover and Guazzini all at ten seconds. Stage two looks like this from Mieux to Provence. 136.4 kilometres to go to Tijo early on in the day. Expect Femke Marcus to go for some more Queen of the Mountains points. We have that intermediate sprint to come in Provence at the first passage of the finish line. And that little stale. One kilometre, 5% at the end will be the finish. Will it be Lorena Weavis that takes the second day? Or could it be Voss or Balsamo? Make sure you tune in for more action tomorrow.